Yay! There we go, there we go. Sound. Sound. Should have sound now. Is it working? Do we have sound? Wouldn't be a live stream without at least one thing going wrong. Seems to be the norm. Have we got sound? Still no? Tells me it's going through. Audio. Yay. That's really stupid, isn't it? Anyway. Given the computer, given the program access to uh, to the camera, but how is everyone today? Why are you disappointed? I'm like I got used to having cameras like here and here and doing things. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd build this one today. I've been looking for an excuse to build it. I don't really need to. Like a maniac, mate. Congratulations on the uh, on the sword in the box thing. That was an awesome video, mate. I really really enjoyed that. Sorry, sorry, Robin. I brought it to you in fuzzy vision too. <laughs> Something's growing on my face. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> We got we got Robin, we've got lunch, Kaz, Brick Studio, Lego Maniac. Yeah, I thought I'd try a beard on for a change. I've uh, not had one for a, a while. Actually, this is the longest I've ever grown it. So uh, thought I'd see how we go. Uh, you're welcome, Brick Studio. Uh, I do. I try to get around. <laughs> so I run out of time to do everything at the moment. That's the biggest problem. I've actually been putting a lot of effort in on my Pinterest channel because Pinterest has been picking up for me for some reason, and uh, <laughs> he's just trying to sort of stay on top of everything. Well, I got this. This one was 60% off, so that's a bargain. Uh, this one was 60% off too, so I got two of them. And then I've got two of the palaces as well, because that was like 65% off, I think it was. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I did pick up one more Lego Movie 2 set yesterday because I was worried about the fact that... Is it officially discontinued now? I thought the rumour was it wasn't going to be carrying on, but it wasn't quite official yet. I actually need to run my clippers over it and tidy it up. It's, uh, it's a little bit scruffy. <laughs> It's, it's trying to keep on top of all of them. It's, yeah, I, I use uh, If This Then That to, um, to post stuff automatically to my numerous channels, but to be perfectly honest, you actually need to do it, um, you need to be doing it manually sometimes to get the best result because the automated ones just don't have, don't give you the control that, <laughs> Provide the benefit, if you will. <laughs> I got it. I that's where I got my um, lunch. That's where I got my palace palaces from. I got them from Kmart at that price. So I bought it and I was gonna use it for myself, and then uh, I had a, a twinge of guilt and realised that my kids would absolutely love it. So what I did. Was I went and bought a second one, so now I've got one for me and one for them. 
Yeah, so if you hadn't seen Legomaniac, the rumour is that, um, yeah, what Robin said, there's a, one store tried to put an order in for more Lego Movie 2 stuff to, to re-inventory, like the Apocalypse Berg set, I think, was the one they asked for. And uh, Lego said they weren't going to resupply them. So that was what happened. Still seems to be a lot of people with stock, though. Yeah, Kaz, I don't have that problem because I'm not um, I'm not as creative as you, so people don't tend to steal my stuff. But yeah, I can imagine. One thing that really irritates me on Pinterest is when someone reposts another image for something and then puts like a, a link to an Amazon store or something like that, and it's like a, an affiliate link or something like that. So they're obviously trying to use someone else's content to drive traffic to their channel to try and make money for themselves. Pretty crappy, to be honest. That's one thing I don't like about Pinterest. And when I catch channels that have done it, I always report them. Not that it seems to matter, but I do. <laughs> Who have we got? God of Bricks, hello. Yeah. I still have high hopes that they will bring out some classic space stuff again properly. Look at those colours. Aren't those colours awesome? That's one thing with these sets. I love these bright teal and the bright pink and Yeah, it's I try to like I say okay, when I when I see that happen I try and report Whoever it was that created the pin originally, got to try and stop them. I do that on any channel. I try and I try and report YouTube channels that do things they shouldn't. Anybody I can. I do it on Facebook quite regularly as well. I think it's really important. That's one thing. I don't think people report stuff enough when they should. <laughs> uh, sure. You can ask me a YouTube question if you like. I will do my best to answer it. <clears throat> and that I will agree with as well, Kaz. It doesn't... It doesn't make it easy, especially if somebody strips out the information on the image so you can't actually find out where it came from. It's a shame because I like Pinterest as a concept, it's just human nature again has abused it. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to be getting another cold, hooray. Uh, which new rules do you mean, uh, God of Bricks? The... Because YouTube made a load of changes that have made a lot of impact to a lot of people. The, um... I was chatting to, um, to Mark of the Lego Room and he's... His channel has actually been hit quite hard since the last algorithm change. So we've been sort of researching why. Now part of his problem is he doesn't post very often. But um, his content's good, but for some reason he's been really penalised. I'm not saying they have to bring back classic space, but a space theme would be good that's not Star Wars. <laughs> like, you know, something that's in line with the original space theme, but not like, like they did with M-Tron and Blacktron. They were good themes. <laughs> they were really good themes. 
And yeah, Kaz, I saw that. It was terrible. It's really annoying that people do that. Can I can I ask, do you know where they were based in the world? And they couldn't have must have been taken them quite a long time to uh, to do. Um Yeah, the the rules basically impact everybody, uh, God of Bricks. Like, um, yeah, the, the website The Verge had quite a good article talking about it as well. Um, it's just, uh, it impacts everybody, basically. So, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't blame YouTube for, for playing it safe, but at the same time, it's a bit frustrating for... You've gotten used to doing things a certain way and then suddenly it's all blown away because of a couple of things. So, unfortunately, it's a few people ruining it for everybody as usual. So annoying. Huh. That's, yeah, I was really annoyed to hear that, Kaz. I mean, I was taking some serious effort on their part to uh, to um, to do all of that, but awful that they couldn't do something imaginary. I wonder what else they were selling that was not theirs to sell. Must have been quite a lot, I bet. Uh, got a brick. So, so what's what are you um, what are you asking about specifically? You're asking around the new rules and and how it impacts channels, or or how it impacts chat. What what about chat? Do you mean? Is there something um, like everything should still work? The only thing they've done is change things like you can't do live streaming until you've got a thousand subs now. Uh, and the algorithms changed a bit to make it. You know, I've, I've noticed that my um, video impressions, it's, it's harder for me to get a high impression count on a video now, but when I do it, it goes well, but it's getting the high impression count is hard. The inability to like or comment will pretty much decimate the Lego YouTube community. To like or comment will pretty much. Yeah, that well, that would decimate basically everybody's channel. Well, I haven't seen that one about commenting. What? What? Yeah, it's it's the age-old story of a few people causing issues for everybody else, isn't it? Like, that's crazy. So everybody has to suffer because a few people did stupid things. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, okay, content aimed at kids will not have comments or likes enabled okay that's for one of a better word slightly um, <laughs> ridiculous how does that work like that's so you, you need to basically argue that your channel is not aimed at kids and then they won't serve your channel to kids so then you won't have to worry about the uh, <laughs> I'm actually quite lucky because most of my, um, quite most of my uh, audience is is older according to my stats. So you 
You look around your dashboard. My sub age are 18 to 20. That's, that's fine then. You'll be okay. Yeah, basically, it's off the back of that. So, yeah, I mean, all they're going to do is go and stream in other places. So, YouTube's going to suffer because of that one thing. But, yeah, that was why they disabled iPhone um, streaming to channels under um, under a 1,000 subs. Like, I'm not really sure what that achieved, to be perfectly honest. But that wasn't... It's not going to stop them doing live streams. So, <laughs> And the trouble is you can still go and buy a thousand subs if you want to, which is not good practice. Don't go and buy a thousand subs anybody because it won't do your channel any good, but it bypasses that problem if someone wanted to do it. It would only cost them five dollars. Hmm. So when's that rule coming into place? I'm going to have to look into that. I didn't know that. I hadn't read that one. I'd read about all the algorithm changes and things, but they must have exceptions, though. There must be a way to... They must have thought of that. They can't just blanket remove that for everybody. That wouldn't make any sense. I mean, that's going to decimate YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> That's nuts. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. I <laughs> that is very very silly. My so is that gonna be? Does that what happens? So if your channel's monetized, is it a different set of rules or or what? Like is it? Because I mean the trouble is, so many small channels are going to struggle to get monetized now. It's, very hard for them. And, you know, the chat's part of what makes a channel good is because the, the user who creates, the creator of that channel is really good at talk, is likes talking to his followers. I don't know. I, I think, to be perfectly honest, it wouldn't matter. It would be in uh in europe it would have issues as well <laughs> i mean i i'm in australia so we have different rules again to what you have we we, we don't have the european union rules that you have at the moment that you won't have very long <laughs> i'm not going to talk about that <laughs> The circus that is your government. <laughs> I reckon they'll have a I reckon they'll have a way that you can apply for an exemption. I would have thought. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. But then how they'll police that will be because yeah, because like the small creator channels will suffer massively and they must know that. They would absolutely know that would be an impact. And they wouldn't want to risk that one. Well, I, the trouble is, the reason I have a cold is because the other day it was 26 degrees and then yesterday it was like 8 degrees. So, actually it was 28 degrees the other day. It was, we've had an unseasonal, um, unseasonably hot spell suddenly in the middle of winter and then it's gone back to being cold winter again and uh whenever that happens i get a cold nearly always <laughs> i 
I, I don't know, Robin. I mean, from from someone who, who lives in another country outside of Europe, to be perfectly honest, um, a lot of the uh, European Union rules look really stupid to, um, to people living in Australia, if I'm perfectly honest. So, <laughs> when it comes to content and uh, online like it's it's like it's like used by it's like a lot of the rules I and mean, what bothers me with a lot of the rules that seem to come out about these things that govern how the internet works is they seem to be written by people who still use fax machines being blunt I see you're fine I mean, my other question is, is it a blanket um, thing for YouTube or is it certain regions or what? <laughs> like I say, I live in Australia and everything's a bit more laid back in Australia. But uh, I'm going to guess it's a blanket thing. What about net neutrality? What about it? <laughs> I would agree with you though, the FC, FCC. The FCC seem to only be interested in helping the people who put money in their pockets. <laughs> That's my non-diplomatic way of putting it they uh, do seem to be quite happily sponsored by anybody who will sponsor them good news the chocolate rations are <laughs> you do know though that they're gonna run out of chocolate in a few years <laughs> And coffee, apparently. I love that. Um, <laughs> I love. There's a, a picture I've seen of um, of uh, the uh, the UK. what was it it was the uk um without the eu and it was something like a picture of um a tin of baked beans and and something else was what what everyone in the uk is going to be eating <laughs> just made me chuckle <clears throat> I just realized I forgot to put the minifigures together at the beginning. I do love that Emmett has a uh, old school head. I'm going to talk about the set I'm building just to sort of distract from politics and stuff and stupidity on the part of people regulating the internet. <laughs> I now have so many Lucy and Emmett figures. <laughs> there we go. There's another really good Lucy figure. <laughs> Right, bag two. All this talking, I've been chipping away. <clears throat> Let's have a So 
So is it going to be like wartime rationing in the UK again soon? Is that is that what's going to happen? Yeah, it's pretty cool. My uh, one of my friends who I've met through my various Lego communities online is um, has uh, me and him always sort of swapping on deals we found, which is a good and a bad thing because it tends to end up costing me lots of money. But um, yeah, we were both. He he built this one recently and said it's an absolutely brilliant build. So. That is why I was excited to get onto it. See you later, Brick Studios. Thank you for coming. I will keep an eye on Instagram for your your mock. I'm planning my next bit of mock work. I haven't had much time to build this week because I've been I've been sick again. This week was a stomach bug. Can't win at the moment. <laughs> so I'm terribly terribly behind on videos and building and things i thought i might have a city update this week but that ain't happening oh kaz i've got some tri um i've got a parcel coming tomorrow from trick bricks it turns out that when i order from them because i'm in australia i actually get a, a, a big discount when i order on their shop because uh i don't have to pay all the vat and stuff so it ends up I think it ended up being twenty dollars cheaper than my uh, than my cart said. So I may have gone nuts and ordered a bit of a uh, bit more track than I needed to. But um, oh yeah, you did it in numerous colours, didn't you? <laughs> didn't didn't um. Robin, on your subject, didn't um, didn't they say they were they were putting measures in place to ensure that Lego was unaffected by Brexit or something like that? Uh, Lego Lemania, yes, I remember you. Was it you who built them in various colours, or you mocked them up in various colours? On uh, they looked awesome. Yes, it did look cool in the uh, in the classic space colours. Very cool. Oh, those are printed. That's cool. The uh, the blue curves have the white pieces actually printed. I didn't realize that because I've got a ton of the blue curves over there, <clears throat> which I'm still trying to decide what to do with. But I love the piece, so I will find a use for it. Oh yes. Yeah, from what my friend said, it's a, a great, a great uh, lesson in how to build a um, how to build a Lego ball. Okay, my dog was asleep on the sofa. He just fell off of it. Bless him. I seem to recall the red and black one was my favourite, from memory. Yeah, I'll I'll look into all of the the uh, the YouTube kerfuffle. Yeah, and um, good to hear Lego's putting measures in place to <laughs> keep everybody sane. I haven't really looked at your pricing compared to ours. Actually, no, I have. When I was there last time, I got loads of stuff on sale thanks to Argos. And much to my wife's annoyance because uh, half of one of our suitcases ended up being um, <laughs> Lego. <laughs> Which was allowable because we went there for my 40th birthday. The um, oh, there's a website here. Has anyone bought any of the um, series 19 minifigures? Because there's a website here. He's, he's 
It's not not a dodgy site at all. The guy's very very well known in the community. But he's selling an entire pack of the uh, season 19 figures complete. So he's gone and opened them all and put them into Ziploc bags for ninety dollars, which works out what it's five dollars a bag. So it ends up costing you. Um, ends up costing you ten dollars more than if you went and sat in a shop and felt every bag for every figure <laughs> kind of tempted to be honest oh, actually the um that is a result cast that's a fantastic set <laughs> You can't stop for traveling with an empty suitcase. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've seen some cracking deals on on um, Destiny's Bounty. I got it. It was two hundred and sixty dollar set here, and I got it for like a hundred and eighty, I think, which wasn't bad. I didn't mind that. But um, there's there's actually been some better deals than that. But that's an absolutely amazing set. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to get it or not. I actually don't have the um, the Lego Movie 2 minifigures, which I'm tempted by. Again, somebody's selling the entire set for a little bit, like for $10 more than if you bought all the bags individually. So, again, I'm kind of tempted. Sixty is still a great price, though. That's that's still. That was like my first proper back into Lego build, and I think that might have been like one of the triggers for me to really get back into Lego properly was that set. Tell a lie. Before that, I'd actually been buying Star Wars sets. I had all of the, um, I had every single one of the Force Awakens sets because I thought that was a really good line. Um, I think that was actually better than a lot of the the ones since. So, okay. what's building? Hardly talking about the set I'm building. Bigger than I thought. And yeah, Destiny, yeah, Destiny was probably what opened my eyes to um, to the the wonders of Ninjago. Actually, I've still got loads of Ninjago cartoons to catch up on as well. There's so much TV to catch up on. <laughs> I actually got some. Um, I actually got some Minecraft sets yesterday as well. <laughs> Which is new to me. Okay, what have I done wrong here? I've done something wrong here. Oh, that's what I've done wrong. That should not have been there. That should have been there. There we go. I'll tell you what, whoever designed this set was a genius. <laughs> Joss was trying to get me to buy her a uh, the what's the current one the, the one at the moment with the two bikes dueling she was trying to persuade me to buy that for her seems to be a fairly common one that one doesn't it the uh, Destiny's Bounty getting everybody into Ninjago I think I bought Destiny's Bounty and um but then that was also what convinced me to buy 
Ninjago City as well. Because I saw Ninjago City and I absolutely fell in love with that set the minute I saw it. I got I, I fell in love with that before I saw before I bought Destiny's Bounty. And um Yeah, I think I got Destiny's Bounty and then I bought the Ninjago City. And then it took me like nine months to build Ninjago City because it's Ninjago City is such an amazing set. I just had to be in the right mindset to do it. So I kind of held off on doing it. <laughs> it can actually it does fly though, technically. It is meant to be a flying ship. So that's not unreasonable. <laughs> All right, can you guess what it is yet? Although you'll need some very strong supports to hang it from your ceiling. Because <laughs> that would be an awful, awful mess to pick up. Hey, Gallagher, how are you? Are the... Um, the one thing I love about the Ninjago line is it's like the designers have so much freedom to do what they want in it. And it really shows like they really have fun with it. Like, all right, so some of the more mainline sets can be a little bit compromised at times. But on the whole, the Ninjago sets are brilliant. I love them. I was looking at the, um, the current lineup the other day and... Um, I have to say, I wasn't convinced by the snake when I saw the photos of it, but the other day I saw it in person, and it actually is a really good set. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to buy it, but it's actually a really good set. I, I did think it was a good-looking set. The only one I don't like in the current lineup, really, is the, uh, I think the palace one, I think, is a bit lame. But I think most of the sets, all the small ones are good, huh? Maybe the car one's not so good. I like Destiny's, uh, what's the one, uh, what's it called? Destiny's, not Destiny's Bounty, obviously. The Destiny's, whatever it is. I've forgotten the name of it. But that one, I quite like. Again, I, I like how different it is. <clears throat> the best set you think is the UCS Sandcrawler. Oh, that's a... Hang on, are we talking Ninjago or Star Wars here? Oh no, that is Star Wars, isn't it? Silly question, sorry. Um, oh, I'm trying to think which one that is. I, I actually quite like the... Uh, I actually quite like the little sand crawler that was out recently. Uh, which has been discontinued here in Australia. I still periodically see it on clearance and I'm kind of tempted by it when I see it, but I haven't bought it. But I, I thought that was quite a good set. It was way, way overpriced for what it was. But um, it was uh, a good uh, a good looking set, I thought. Very well done. Good playability in it. Good techniques. I, um, yeah, but not quite UCS. Destiny's Wing. Now, that's the little one. I've got that one. What's it called? The big land ship thing. <laughs> that's got the detachable sail barge on top. Hang on. Got a bricks. No, it's the... Uh, are you talking about the new... The recent sand crawlers terrible? Or the new um, the new Destiny's land train or whatever it's called is terrible. Destiny's Wings the Plane, which is a great set. I uh, I've got that one. I really enjoyed that. It was a good fun build and a very very different looking. Uh, plane as well. I thought it was really cool. It kind of reminded me a bit of the old uh, 
Crimson Skies um, stuff. <clears throat> if anyone doesn't know what Crimson Skies is, Google it. It was a sort of steampunk kind of aeroplane game on PC. It was brilliant. <clears throat> Is it colder in Australia now you're growing a beard? <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've had a funny week. This week it was 28 degrees one day. And then like the next day it was down to like 6 degrees or something silly. It was really cold. So that's why I sound like I've got a cold. Because my body doesn't like going from hot to cold so often. <laughs> Could be the dreadnought. Why dreadnought? That'd be interesting. I don't see the point of that. Oh. <laughs> That's jolly clever. So I'm just putting together the. Uh... I'm just lazy. No, I just thought I'd grow a beard. Do you not think it suits me? Do I need to get rid of the beard? Does it not suit me? <laughs> if the consensus is it looks silly on me, I'll shave it off. All right. It's fine, I can take it. I'm a grown man-ish. Ah. We have a side. I have to say, this is bigger than I expected. Very solid. I'm trying to think what set that reminds me of. Oh, the, um, the dragon I made recently. That was a very, very heavy set. There was so much engineering under the hood in that one. Ended up being very weighty. Pretty certain these two sides are exactly the same, but they've made the instructions separate. <laughs> it is Movember, but Movember is just that. And uh, well, no, Movember is next month. But Movember, you're only supposed to start growing it that month. And I obviously have been growing this one for which is three weeks. Land bounty, that's the one. Um. I've been growing this for three weeks now. Yeah, Land Bounty. That's a. I don't mind that set. Now I wouldn't pay full price for it, but when that one goes on clearance, I will be tempted. I have to say, or when it goes on a decent sale, I will be tempted because I think it's a good-looking set again. I think it's got a lot of uh, potential as well, but I think they did a really good job designing quite a lot of that set. <clears throat> I was actually considering going the whole hog and like shaving my head instead. So just having a beard and a shaved head. <laughs> Seeing as I've got a massively receding hairline anyway. <clears throat> oh, wait, if it looks mature, no, I'm going to have to lose. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to see how it goes. I need to have a, uh, I need to... I actually have a shave tomorrow and tidy it up. <clears throat> yep, so Land Bounty, yes, that is the set I was thinking of. I think that's a really cracking looking set. Um, I know there's a few people weren't very keen on it. I thought it looked really good personally. Now, there's, a, there's one bit of it I think could have been improved, which was the... What was it? The mechanism with the, the blade that comes down next to it that moves as you push it along or something. There was something about that that was wrong. I can't remember what it was, but there we go. Well, it's starting to look like a spaceship now. <clears throat> have I thrown a... I have no idea what you mean. It looks like I've got my head on upside down if I shave my head and just have a beard. <laughs> it's like guess who this 
thing's huge. I, 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 I wish I could explain how heavy this is. Like, you have to watch two bags of, two full bags of pieces have gone into making this. So it's solid. Like, there's, there's no, there's no wasted space in this. It's pretty epic. I, I can already recommend anybody who uh, who's like thought about this set get it <laughs> when it's on sale. <laughs> you won't regret it at all. It is as good as they say. <laughs> I'm having fun talking to my friends and building. Oh, incidentally, anybody who watched my uh, UCS. Um, Star Destroyer uh, video. The um, I've since found out since I did that. Actually, the cost of it is right based on weight. If you compare the weight of it to the Millennium Falcon, it's actually near enough, spot on, the same price per kilogram as that. So that just shows you how many pieces are in it. Just thought I'd share that while I'm talking, in case any of you have watched it and were wondering. Still think it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see inside one of your puzzles, because it would just be a work of art in there. Very cleverly worked out. Next, you'll be like making a Saw movie. <laughs> Why do you have zero chance of getting it? That's a bit sad. Sorry to hear that. What does this one do? A weird floaty piece. <clears throat> I've got the um, Yeah, you, you definitely should. Um, you definitely should do some tutorials because one, I reckon it would do your channel. Uh, it would get you a lot of um, get you some good traffic to your channel. How to videos always do well, but um, it'd be really interesting. Like I think you'd find you'd get a really good audience out of that. My two cents worth. <clears throat> Oh, is there? I must have missed that one. I'll have a look. But you should do a tutorial video, definitely. So where's this one? Okay, so this is going to go here. All right, so this is the bottom now, I'm guessing. I'm intrigued by the weird movie bit. It does something. I'm sure that will make sense in a minute. Yeah, it's like you need need a. Um, I'm sure it shouldn't be spare. <laughs> I have a spare piece. I'm sure it shouldn't be spare. Let's see where I missed it. Could be wrong. Ah, oh, no, I see where it is. Right there. That's an easy fix. That's a good way of putting it, Legula Manex. So what you need is a formula that's somewhere between the two. Make sure you sell them yourself, not get someone else to sell them like uh, happen with cash. 
The fortunate thing with those boxes is they'd be very hard to figure out without actually having the box. <clears throat> I do need to buy one of uh, one of Jezza's instructions to support him. There we go, right. Trying to think how many uh, sweet mayhems I've got now as well. Got quite a few of those. I still think anybody who hasn't seen it, sweet mayhem comes with this absolutely epic, epic hair piece. This is one of the best hair pieces I've ever seen in Lego. It's so cool. <laughs> Just a shame it goes on a minifigure doll. <laughs> Still not blown away with minifigure dolls, but anyway. This one, Sweet Mayhem, can wear her helmet. Because she's flying a ship. Let's just pick out all the big bits. You are cordially. Watch the. Uh, we watched the Lego Batman movie today again. Great movie. So good. Oh, no, wrong piece. Oh, you could still slow it down and watch it frame by frame. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do is uh, make a minifigure that uses that hair. <laughs> I'm guessing from that you mean they got heavily stuck and couldn't do it. What did you say when they asked you? There we go. Yeah, I hear you, Kaz. Like, she's pretty cool. Shh. Yeah, all of, um, any, anything I have that comes with a friend's, like the, the, the doll figures, go straight into my kid's Lego collection. Can't be doing with the, um, the dolls. Not, not keen on them at all. But the girls love them. So, that being said, their, their two favourite figures are actually the Anna and Elsa minifigures from the Disney collection so speaking of which I actually need to replace those because the girls have been playing with them so much they've actually worn the faces off them partially <clears throat> actually that would be really cool Legolas Maniac, you should do a, um, <laughs> you should do a UCS box. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe you should do a mini box. Like, do a mini box of some, like, if you, if that's possible, and then... Yeah, that's like half the size of the ones you normally do. And then um, release the instructions for it. That way it's sort of enough for 
people that are really interested in it to do something and learn a bit about how it works without having to give away too many of your secrets. That would be cool. Oh, I need to look through the new Frozen sets. I saw them come up. I didn't really look at them in any detail. But I already know that the minute Joss sees them, I'm in trouble. So I just need to make sure she doesn't see them ever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a mega one that's like Star Wars themed or something. Then then you've got till like next year's Star Wars day to do it. <laughs> How did that bit of dirt get under that sticker in two seconds? How does that happen? There we go. A ball cute. Actually, that would be cool. I'm a huge Star Trek fan, so I'd love to see that. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be really cool because then you could like have the spear inside as well <laughs> there you go For <laughs> we'll all be like there you go. Yeah. Legolam now you've said that, Legolamaniac, you have to do that. That would be absolutely awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Now you've said it. Now you've put the idea in my head. Yeah. That would be beyond cool. <laughs> Oh, phew. Got my stickers on okay. Yay. <laughs> I was a bit nervous there. Starting to look like a spaceship. <laughs> and you'd have to get Brixenville involved to do some lighting on it as well. I still remember that line in um, First Contact. The Borg, they sound like they're from Sweden. Great movie. Great enemy. I keep thinking about watching The Next Generation again. And I'm, I'm worried it won't be as good as I remember when I watched it as a kid. <laughs> we 
which then makes me sound really, really old as well. Has anyone watched it recently? Community Puzzle Cube Project. <laughs> Actually, why does Emmett come with this set? He like, never actually gets in it. Should have given you like a Benny or a Metal Beard or something. <laughs> well, we've just hijacked Legolomaniac's idea, sorry. <laughs> I was deep in thought there, just trying to figure out what something was. But I still think a little sort of miniature cube would be would be cool that you could release the instructions for for people to try. That's my two cents worth. Or like an actual step-by-step -step video that they can download the parts list for, but they have to watch your video to know how to put it together. That'd be a great way to get some traffic to your channel. <clears throat> Do this song again? Oh no, this song stuck in my head. I'm actually, I'm a bit sad that the Lego Movie 2 sets weren't more popular, to be honest, because I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think they're all really good, very creative. They're not excessively expensive, really, for the amount of stuff you get in them. But something obviously is up with them. Did you pick up any spare stickers for this ship? No, I didn't. They sell them? Can you get spare stickers? I got the... Uh... Oh wait, hang on. I think I saw that on the Lego store. Oh man, noted, because I was actually going to do a couple. <laughs> I just can't be bothered to sit there and figure out how to use another program to do something. <laughs> I've got enough things to do without learning another new program. It's going to send me down another new rabbit warren of doing stuff. <laughs> Oh, next time I'm in the Lego store, I'll ask. Maybe they've got some. The trouble is our Lego store is so new, they might not have them. I'll have to see. I know Lego started selling, the. they've started discounting the Lego stuff, the Lego movie stuff on their website now here, but they never really discount very far. There's hardly been anything that's been discounted much that I've seen. I just think it'd be really good for people to see the techniques, like how it works. Well, I've never even looked into how it works, so I'd be very interested myself. 
Yeah, like you're probably not really the, the the target audience, but a lot of people really enjoy. I think like enjoy listening to people talk about you know how they do things. My um my Hogwarts Express motorization one's been one of my most popular videos. So go figure. Kaz, how did your one do on that? Because you had one doing the the other powered up the other powered um system didn't you so it might still get like message i had someone email me the other day with a question about it so it was really nice actually it was a mum who'd bought it for her son for his birthday and she'd bought all the extra parts to do the motorization as well <laughs> which i thought was really cute Yeah, my most popular one is still my Jacob's Bogies one. That one does really, really well. I need to do an updated version of that, actually. Yeah, actually, all of my tutorial videos, like, all my tutorial videos are the, like, most evergreen ones. They're the ones that have continued to perform. So... Which is strange. Actually, all of my train videos generally carry on performing well. <clears throat> I'm not going to put the sticker sheet in. Not for now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I I plan to do a load of those like mini mini tutorials. I just haven't had I just need to get on top of it. I had a whole like load of them planned out to do so I must get back to that that was a fun one to do I enjoyed that I like those little sort of builds that really add character to a city I want to do like a whole street furniture one as well I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple of tutorials on those um, containers I made the other day as well just because I had a load of people asking about them and those were all my own design so I was quite pleased with that <laughs> Wasn't it wasn't borrowing anyone else's. So I was actually looking at other people's designs for some of them to make sure I hadn't accidentally built something that someone else had made. <laughs> well, that's fiddly. There we go. That one goes in there. That one goes in there. Oh, we made our first, uh, it's not confirmed that they're retiring. It's just one store had said they tried to order more stock and they couldn't. So who knows? Maybe it's not retired or retiring soon. Or maybe Lego's just trying to keep it up there as long as possible to try and sell more, which I wouldn't blame them for in the slightest. There we go. Oh, 
No, I think Apocalypse Burger is just hard to find because there aren't many retailers selling it. Because like um, an example being the um, Assembly Square set says hard to find, but there's loads of retailers selling it here in Oz. So I don't know. That's what I think anyway. Uh, it wasn't me spreading rumors. Thank you very much. It was other people. It was on a couple of the groups I'm on on Facebook who started saying it. No one's confirmed it. So I'm just saying what I'd heard. But it does fit because most of the retailers here in Australia are getting rid of their stock. So. Like literally even Amazon has reduced them now to clearance prices. I feel like that one could have been done. Ooh, tricky little fella. There we go. Do that too. We're almost done here. Um, you, you could build it. Just saying. I think I've figured out a space for it in my city. One of our um, one of our big department stores here in Australia who has loads of stocks had a big sale on yesterday, so I might have uh, stocked up on a couple of things because <laughs> I needed more sets to build because I'm so far ahead on my building at the moment. It's not funny. Uh, <clears throat> she fit in there. Wait, her wings supposed to go in there? Is that the idea? No. I think she fits in there very well. <laughs> All right, these ones to go on top here. Yeah, I got the Sparkle Spa for 60% off, so yeah. <laughs> It'll go down. Okay, so wait, so what's supposed to happen there? Oh, I see. You put those there. It's loading up. I really wish I had the multiple camera angles. It'd be much easier to show you what I'm doing. Right, so her guns go there, and then that goes there. There we go. <laughs> oh, and then the disc goes in there. Oh, I see. That's jolly clever. If it works. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about Lego sets that fire things. I oh, see you, Gargade. Well, have a nice cycle. Hope it's a nice day for you. That answers that question. What a 
about the shapes. I didn't do the shapes. What was that? I missed a step somewhere. In my talking, I've forgotten to put something together. Oh, unless that should have been near the beginning. Probably should have been. Alright, I think I just finished. Although I missed something. Where are we? Right, right after that. I'll tell you what, I am getting really fed up with how often my instruction manuals have folds in them now. Feels very, uh, feels like they need to revisit that bit of the uh, manufacturing process. Like, even the sets where the box is way big enough for the instruction manual, it still turns up folded. Why? Why? Well, those are cool. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the shapes. They're fun. Right, that's actually finished. I finished the set. Why do I have that? I have parts I shouldn't have. I'm bothered. I've missed a part there somewhere. <laughs> Isn't that the worst when you feel like you've missed a part that you shouldn't have? Just one piece I'm bothered about. Where is it? Where is it? Hey Max, how are you mate? The time is good because I just finished building. Uh, <laughs> wow, I can still talk. I'm actually going to go and finish a video I might put live tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Well, I've actually finished building the ship, which is epic. Apart from that, doesn't close. Why doesn't that close? Oh, there we go. That's a pretty solid looking, uh, pretty solid little vehicle. Got good swooshability. <laughs> anyway. All right, I might call it a night there because it's uh, late and I should probably go to bed and try and shake this cold off. So I shall love you and leave you. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I appreciate the company, as always. And uh, I hope you all have lovely days. Legular Maniac, I look forward to seeing that Borg Cube. I'm sure that won't take you long to do. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? That's a good question, actually. That is a very good question. Because they actually don't give you any way to mount it. So you'd have to remove some parts off the bottom. To actually think about how you could mount it. That would be all you could do. Is remove some of these plates here. Or this perhaps. and then So you can actually mount it on something. And then you'd want to make sure it can do that as well. Because it's a pretty cool site. Pretty cool build. <clears throat> but yeah anyway yeah I recommend the set if anyone's like looking for a really fun set it's a really cracking build if you can get it on clearance definitely good swooshability you've got two compartments in here for stuff being stored as well well one's for stuff being stored and the other one's for uh, wild style being held a prisoner so she goes in there. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Is that a toilet? Yeah. Wildstyle goes in there somehow. Seal that up. She ain't going nowhere. And uh, there we have Sweet Mayhem tucked away in her command pod at the front. <laughs> a little bit. That was a bit, had a bit more um, shape to it though, didn't it? I actually just realised I did one thing wrong. Which is I put those on the wrong sides, which is clever of me. 
There we go. That's right. There we go. But yeah, good set. Recommend it. Yeah, because you don't need the shooter. It's got a it's got a little stud shooter thing on the bottom here, which I'm not really thrilled about. I won't show my kids that it's there, but yeah, you can put something in there and go. Yeah, maybe. Jesus. It's really powerful. <laughs> that came out more than I expected. Yeah. Probably remove that. Doesn't doesn't sit very well. Looks looks like more like it's crashed. <laughs> oh wait, it's a ball. Of course it doesn't. Anyway, all right, guys, thank you for joining me today tonight. Um, enjoyed the chat. <laughs> I will now go and look up the YouTube thing you told me about because I hadn't seen that yet. Let's see what they're making us do now. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, um, and I'll see you again. Yeah, lethal. It is lethal. It's like the stud shoot. The yeah, the little stud shooters are also like that, and also the um, the the long shooter things, whatever they're called, they're ridiculously powerful as well. I'll flip those down. Is that enough? Oh yeah, so it is. All right. Didn't think they swiveled down that much. Hello, TG ship was called Spindrift. Oh yeah, I hope what, God, legendary giants. That's a blast from the past. God, I used to love that show. <laughs> it was so original. Anyway, all right, guys, on that note, I'm now going to go this time because I actually do need to think about going to bed. Uh, I'm actually going to go to bed because I'm tired and feeling a bit sick, so I should do something about that one. Thank you for joining me, and um, I will uh, hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you in future video. I'll try to do this weekly again now, so see you around. <laughs>